Danny Acosta for Fight Magazine here with UFC welterweight Jake Ellenberger. Fresh victory win over John Howard. Well, what was the damage? Uh, what were the shots that you landed that swelled up John Howard's eye so bad? Um, I think it was a few uh, elbows that landed on the ground. But, uh, you know, he's a, he's a tough cat, man. He hung in there the whole fight. And uh, I, I landed some good elbows on him, though. Were you disappointed that the fight was uh, stopped by the doctors and, you know, you weren't declared the victor decisively via decision or were there stoppage? Yeah, I mean, you know, I... I I wouldn't want to. I'd be, I would be pissed if I lost like that, you know. And I don't. Just the same way, I don't want to win like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's obviously nice to to win. I was definitely winning the fight, but how it ended, you know, that that's not the way I want to win. But uh, you know, we can do it again. You know, I'll, I'll hopefully fight before the end of the year. So we'll see. Uh, he was bringing some fire into the cage. You know, he was throwing big shots at you. Uh, did he ever hurt you at any point in the fight? Yeah, you know what? He he uh, he dazed me once. One time where I was a little uh, a little dazed, but I had to. Stay focused, you know. But yeah, man, he throws he throws heaters. He was in there. Uh, you told us uh, prior to the fight that you wanted to stand and trade with them. Uh, was that the plan? And, and it changed the octagon, or was that just bait for for John Howard so uh, you could take him down? No, I mean I'm a smart fighter, though. I, I know honestly, I think the only way he's going to beat me is if he catches me with something wild. So, and I know I could catch him too. But I mean, if that's the only way he's going to beat me, why not take that away? Take that out of the game. So I'll take him down and ground upon him a little bit, you know. But. Um, yeah, man, he, he hits really hard. So I, I felt that's the only way he's going to beat me. He's not going to submit me. I felt the only way if he catches me was something crazy. So that's why I took it down. Uh, you said you want to fight before the end of the year. Is there anyone you had in mind? Um, there's, you know, there's so many guys now in the welterweight division that I'd, I'd like to fight. You know, there's, there's Shields, you know, there's uh, Campman, there's Fitch. There's, there's so many welterweights. So it's up to, up to Joe, and, you know, Joe and Dana and uh, hopefully a top 10 guy. So you feel you're ready to, to make that jump in competition? Yeah, absolutely. I think I, I think I'm you know I think I'm in the top ten mix. So you know, I'll I'll fight whoever. And what are the biggest things you think you need to improve on? Uh, you know, coming into your next fight after coming off such a strong performance. I think my diet, to be honest, like I I had a, I cut a lot of weight yesterday. Really, um, I felt pretty good in there. I think I could have been, I could have felt better, but I, I cut a lot. I cut my ass off yesterday, man. I cut like 15 pounds yesterday. So I think if I had my diet a little better, you know, I, I probably would have felt. A little, you know, a little more in tune in the fight, but you know, it's all right. We'll, we'll move on to the next one. And uh, what the fans need to know about Jake Ellenberger? Jake is. I'm here to stay, man. I'm 25. I got a lot of fights ahead of me, so I'm looking forward. To it. Man, and I've, you know, I've had three in the UFC, and I don't think I don't think the fans have seen anything yet of me. I'm, you know, I have so much, so much more stuff to show and, and things to learn. So um, they've just seen a small bit. So keep keep your eye on me. Jake Ellenberger.